So we're down here at the uh, in Portland for Northwest Audio Visualist. This is our first time coming down to catch up the crew here, but it's really kind of cool to meet the new head. So we'll uh, meet the man right there. There he is. So series dabbed out this really cool sign-in program. Do you just do a face shot? Where's the camera? At? See the face oh, thing? Yeah. Oh yeah. So stretch your eyelids out, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's sound when I'm talking about the melody here, but the everything else is sort of like a collection of, of loops and samples and things like that. So you hear the, the sample change, but you can see how this melody is sort of now I'm rethinking this melody and I can go back and revisit you know how it's put together and what it is. It, There's a dramatic quality that I could potentially bring into it. Right now, I'm not really performing it that way. Um, it's kind of hard to hear without having a stereo feel, and that's a distortion effect. But I'm having a little trouble with multiple touch points on this, but that's uh, something I'm still working with. And then this board, I'm playing with a spatialization. You can hear how the, so you have the sound. I'm playing with drum beats. Right now that that this is the I have this kind of glitchy beat loaded in here. And that's it. Like thinking about finding small pieces of the beat to play back and changing the order of the way the way I mean. And this is sort of scrubbing and kind of changing the character of the sound. And that's what I'd like to get out here. Because I can sit there and have a whole, you know, uh, sort of uh, keyboard, uh, sort of kind of array of knobs and things like that. It's only really alienating the audience, but just having one or two things seems more effective. Down here at, um, where are we at? And what's your name? Uh, second Story, I'm Thomas Wester, uh -huh. technology director. Cool. We're looking at the presentation that we did for uh, the Bank of America. It's a, it's a, a data visualization presentation that's currently running at the Bank of America Tower. In New York. In New York, yeah. Uh, near Bryant Park, I think it's called. It's near Bryant Park. Large tower that uh, Merrill Lynch actually just went into, too. Um, and this is a, this is a, it's a 15, it's a 10 foot display, 10 by 10. So 15 screens, 15 plasma screens that have no bezel, so they're bezel-less, they're right up against each other. Oh, the nice. And they, um, it's in a lobby, in, a, in an elevator lobby, yeah. basically, that the traders use to go up to their trader floor. So it's, oh, in really? a sense, it's, it's, kind of, it's high traffic, uh, but also exclusive. Not anybody can go through it. And uh, the Bank of America is really looking for a, a, an art piece, to have an art piece in there. Mm -hmm. And um, we went through a whole bunch of iterations, and uh, this is what we ended up with. So this is live data, this is live data rendered data. with OpenGL. So it's a uh, it's a it's a it's a ten foot like I said ten foot fifteen plasma screen. It's four PCs networked together uh -huh. that are uh, rendering out live sixty frames per second visualization using wow. uh, data that comes from the that's live stock market data. And we did. mono to do that and sir you made some awesome javascript stuff that i don't understand how to do for that and uh yeah ableton live yeah yeah it's um 
It's cool. And what about the visual side? The visual side is VDMX, and it's sure. cool as well. So how are you feeding VDMX then with? Um, MIDI and audio. And some of the cool things in Ableton and VDMX to go on is like, as you can see, there's like audio detection, which is cool. And like a lot of things like in VDMX are in, in Ableton that are cool. Like this is a lot of times what I'll do is, uh, is like, you know, control Ableton with gating and stuff, oh, yeah, which is a lot of fun. I have a foot controller. And if I like, uh, you know. What's your name? Uh, middleman. Oh, Brant. Snakes, muffins. And how do people find? Oh, Strad, dude. So uh, this end of the building is mostly lab space where we uh, we set up um, equipment that will eventually be fielded in museums. Uh, I prototype new technologies here. Infrared. Is like a marker there? Is that? Yeah, that's a fiducial. It's, yeah. uh, there's a camera underneath that recognizes this. Uh, oh, and uh, there's this software called Reactivision. Right? Is this the Reactivision cable? Yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> um, so infrared laser. It's not using infrared. This is actually using. Um, this is actually using what's called a, a VIP foil, which is located directly underneath this film here. Okay. So. And uh, it is a passive uh, oh. system. So each of these blocks represents one of the pixels on the VIP foil. So the foil, oh. it's not this like vellum material. No, it's not. It's underneath there. there. Okay. You kind of hand put them together, right? These are. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the foil right here. Oh, okay. Transparent. I see. You can see oh, the it has little wires running. Yep, yep, yep. Got it. What do you call that stuff? Just it's a VIP foil. It's manufactured by Visual Planet. Uh huh. And uh, it's really expensive. Then you don't have any of the issues of external infrared light leakage. And then, so I have the camera and uh -huh. infrared light set up right now just to do the potential preparation. Uh, but eventually, I'll be pushing that to do. So the IR cameras ca capturing that, and then. Yes. But all the, the camera tracking. The, the oh, what's doing the actual camera good. tracking on these? Uh, I just have a little USB camera. Is it using like a, uh, the guys up? What are you using actually for the camera? It's a, it's, it's reactive vision. Oh, so it's actually reactive vision. It does the, uh, yeah. the marker implementation and all that? That's, that's their, this is their software interface. It's put a number up yeah. in the middle of the initial and it recognizes. You just find that through database and an asset and then all, or whatever and it'll play. What? You, that just runs. Yeah, it knows the individual pieces. Yeah, yeah. 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 So say yeah. this is a circle with a red particle. Yeah. So you print these out, and they have like a ID associated yeah. with them. Cool. So the rest of the building. Um,